हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एजुकेशन हाउस दी हाउस ऑफ नॉलेज टुडे वी स्टडी कॉन्सेप्ट थ्योरी मास्टर क्वेश्चंस सो नाउ वी कंटिन्यू अ चैप्टर विद अ नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज रदरफोर्ड्स मॉडल ऑफ एटम सो स्टूडेंट्स जैसा कि हमने पिछली वीडियो में डिस्कस किया था कि बेसिक्स के बारे में और हमने थॉमसन मॉडल के बारे में स्टडी किया इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन की डिस्कवरीज के बारे में स्टडी किया नाउ जैसा कि थॉमसन मॉडल एक बहुत ही सिंपल मॉडल था एंड आफ्टर द फेलियर ऑफ थॉमसन मॉडल बिकॉज इट कुड नॉट एक्सप्लेन मेनी फैक्ट्स देन केम सर रदरफोर्ड हु गेव इज मॉडल रदरफोर्ड मॉडल ऑफ एटम सो दिस मॉडल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस टॉपिक एंड आवर चैप्टर सो वॉट आर इट्स पॉस्टुलेट्स एंड वी विल सी दैक्टिकल of this experiment and everything so rutherford performed a famous experiment called alpha scattering experiment on the basis of which he gave his atomic model so sabse pehle unhone ek alpha scattering experiment perform kiya sir rutherford ne jiske behalf pe jisko observe karte hue unhone apna model diya that is known as rutherford's model of atom so alpha particle is a helium nucleus having charge of plus 2 and mass 4 atomic mass unit so humne ye to keh diya ki unhone alpha scattering experiment kiya so hame sabse pehle ye pata hona chahiye ki what is alpha particle so alpha particle is basically a helium nuclei helium nucleus that has a charge of plus 2 and mass of 4 amu so here is the experiment that the overview how the experiment was performed Uh, a stream of high energy alpha particles from a radioactive source was directed at a thin foil of a gold metal the thin foil had a circular fluorescent zinc sulfide screen around it means ki unhone ek electron beam gold foil ke upar jab part karwaya means ki uske upar strike karwaya and that was surrounded by a zinc sulfide screen whenever a alpha particle struck the screen a tiny flash of light was produced at that point and jab wo gold foil mein se alpha particle cross kar jata aur zinc sulfide screen ko strike karta then kya observe kiya unhone ek tiny flash of light means ki ek light hame show ho rahi thi blinking ek then he observed the various things and then made his conclusions based on those observation to उन्होंने और भी कई चीजें ऑब्जर्व की जिसके बिहाफ पे उन्होंने अपनी ऑब्जर्वेशंस दी एंड मॉडल दिया सो so, सबसे पहले हम देखते हैं कि वो एक्सपेरिमेंट क्या था सो लेट अस सी द एक्सपेरिमेंट वाइल परफॉर्मिंग एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन रेडियो एक्टिविटी अर्नेस्ट रदरफोर्ड बॉम्बार्डेड फास्ट मूविंग एल्फा पार्टिकल ऑन अ थिन गोल्ड फॉयल ही ऑब्जर्व द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द एल्फा पार्टिकल विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ स्क्रीन नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू थॉमसन एटोमिक मॉडल an atom consists of a positively charged sphere with electrons embedded in it so rutherford expected that almost all the alpha particles will pass straight and only small deflection will be observed if there would be any however rutherford got totally contrasting results from his experiment he made the following observations first most of the fast moving alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil second some alpha particles were deflected through the foil by small angles and the third point some alpha particles were deflected by large angles in rare cases an alpha particle got deflected by an angle of 180 degree based on his observations rutherford derived the following conclusions from his gold foil experiment first since most alpha particles passed through the gold foil without any deflection most of the space inside an atom is empty second very few particles suffered a deflection from their path now this means that positive charge occupies very little space inside an atom third and final point as a small fraction of particles got deflected completely by 180 degree all positive charge and mass of gold atoms are present within a very small volume inside the atom This was an alpha scattering experiment. Now we will see what were the observations made on the basis of this alpha scattering experiment. So the first observation was most of the alpha particles passed through the gold foil undeflected. The here we can see that particles are 
passing through the gold foil and striking the zinc sulfide screen and that is the first observation most of the alpha particle passed through the gold foil undeflected means they moved in a straight line path without any deflection second observation a small fraction of alpha particle was deflected by a small angle means some particles a very few particles were deflected at a small angle so here we can see that like this and these particles these are deflected at some angle then their straight line path third observation a very few alpha particle approximately 1 in 20,000 bounced back that is were deflected by nearly 180 degree means ki out of 20,000 particles just one particle came back at 180 degree on a path on initially which it gold so means that if the particle strike this gold foil and came back at 180 degree it implies that it just directly striked at a positive charge that repelled it to 180 degree because alpha particle itself contains a positive charge it means it had striked a positive charge so now what are the conclusions obtained by these observations so the first one is most of the space in the atom is empty as most of the alpha particles passed through the foil undeflected so agar humne kaha ki most of the particles passed through the alpha uh, alpha particle passed undeflected means ki atom ke andar empty space hai kyunki agar empty space thi to alpha particle easily straight line path follow kar liya so the second conclusion a few positively charged alpha particles were deflected so as we have seen that some particles were deflected at small angles the deflection must be due to repulsive force which shows that positive charge of the atom is not spread uniformly so jaisa ki humne padha tha ki sir thompson ne bola ki positive charge is spread uniformly but agar charge uniformly spread hota to hamara jo alpha particle hai wo ek direction mein kyun deflect hota so it means the positive charge is concentrated in a very small volume that repelled and deflected the alpha particles means ki atom ke andar empty space present hai and chote se kisi region mein positive charge bhi present hai jis positive charge ne humare alpha particle ko deflect kiya next space occupied by positive charge present in a atom is very small he calculated the size of radius as around a here i have written a1 and a2 because those values were like 10 raised to power minus 15 meter and 10 raised to power minus 10 meter so the space occupied by charge is very small how does he concluded this so jaisa ki humne kaha ki around 20000 mein one particle 180 degree pe bounce back kiya so it means that particle directly striked with the positive charge that repelled it to back at 180 degree so if out of 20,000 just one particle striked it means that charge is very very small and present in a very small region so now the postulates of Rutherford's model so Rutherford had observed some things and made some conclusion after that he gave some points which are known as postulates of his model so the first one is atom is spherical having all positive charge concentrated at a center known as nucleus he said that atom is positive as we know the charge that positive charge is concentrated at center known as nucleus second one electrons are revolving in empty space around the nucleus the electrons revolve around the nucleus size of nucleus is very small as compared to size of atom uh, this was concluded from the last observation next the size of nucleus is directly proportional to molar mass of atom means ki agar kisi atom ka molar mass jyada hoga it means uske andar protons jyada hai aur neutrons jyada hai and agar protons and neutrons jyada hai to iska matlab uske nucleus ka size bada hai and if the size of nucleus is greater it means the size of atom will also be greater and this is the point that size of nucleus is directly proportional to molar mass of atom so these were the observation conclusions and postulates of rutherford's model so now we will see that failure of rutherford's model 
आफ्टर मतलब कि रदर ने इतनी ऑब्जर्वेशंस की एंड इतने पॉइंट्स कंक्लूड किए इसके बाद भी कुछ पॉइंट्स पे ये मॉडल फेल हो गया एंड नाउ वी विल सी व्हाई दिस मॉडल फेल्ड एंड दिस फेलियर पॉइंट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज एग्जाम में आपको डायरेक्टली ये क्वेश्चन आएगा व्हाई रदर मॉडल फेल्ड और वाई द बोहर मॉडल नीड वॉज फील मीन्स की बोहर मॉडल क्यों आया बोहर मॉडल इसीलिए आया क्योंकि रदर मॉडल कुछ कंसेप्ट को एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पाया सो नाउ वी सी वो कौन से कंसेप्ट थे सो रदर फोर्ड सेट दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कॉन्टिन्यूसली रिवॉल्व अराउंड द न्यूक्लियस इन सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट सो ठीक है ये सेकेंड उनके पोस्टुलेट था दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिवॉल्व अराउंड न्यूक्लियस इन सर्कुलर पाथ बट द पॉइंट फॉर फेलियर इज बट अकॉर्डिंग टू इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक थ्यूरी ऑफ मैक्सुअल चार्ज पार्टिकल्स वेन एक्सेलरेटेड शुड एमिट इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन मैक्सवेल की जो इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थ्योरी है उनके अकॉर्डिंग अगर कोई भी चार्ज्ड पार्टिकल एक एक्सेलरेटेड मोशन फॉलो करता है इट विल रेडिएट द एनर्जी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ रेडिएशन देयर फॉर एन इलेक्ट्रॉन इन ऑर्बिट विल एमिट रेडिएशन द एनर्जी कैरिड बाय रेडिएशन कम्स फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मोशन सो हमारा इलेक्ट्रॉन जो है दैट इज अ चार्ज पार्टिकल न्यूक्लियस के अराउंड वो एक सर्कुलर मोशन फॉलो कर रहा है इट मीन्स दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन शुड ऑल्सो रेडिएट एनर्जी एमिट रेडिएशन देन दर्बिट विल थस कॉन्टिन्यू टू श्रिंक लेकिन अगर इलेक्ट्रॉन की एनर्जी कॉन्टिन्यूसली कम हो रही है अगर वो रेडिएट कर रहा है कॉन्टिन्यूसली उसकी एनर्जी कम हो रही है सो so इसका मतलब जो हमारा ऑर्बिट है वो धीरे धीरे छोटा होता जाएगा एंड श्रिंक हो जाएगा अकॉर्डिंग टू कैलकुलेशन इलेक्ट्रॉन शुड टेक ओनली टेन रेस्ट टू पा माइनस एट सेकेंड टू स्पाइरल इन टू द न्यूक्लियस सो अगर जो साइंटिस्ट ने कैलकुलेशन की उनके अकॉर्डिंग अगर ये पॉइंट ट्रू है दैट द चार्ज पार्टिकल एमिट्स रेडिएशन तो हमारा टेन रेस्ट टू पा माइनस एट सेकेंड में न्यूक्लियस में फॉल हो जाएगा एंड इट विल कोलेप्स द एटम बट दिस डज नॉट हैपन thus the rutherford model cannot explain the stability of an atom this point caused failure of rutherford's model but hum jante hain ki aisa nahi hota jo hamara atom hai wo stable hota hai electron hai jo uske around revolve karta hai but rutherford ye explain nahi kar paye ki jo maxwell ki theory keh rahi hai wo galat kyun hai ya wo cheez unke model mein applicable kyun nahi hai सो so, इस वजह से रदरफोर्ड मॉडल फेल हो गया था एंड देन इसके बाद साइंटिस्ट बोहर आए नील्स बोहर उन्होंने ये चीज भी क्लैरिफाई की एंड बोहर्स मॉडल दिया था सो दिस वाज ऑल अर रदरफोर्ड्स मॉडल ऑफ एटम सो इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी बोहर्स मॉडल एंड नेक्स्ट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक थ्यूरीज सो इफ यू लाइक दीडियो प्लीज शेयर इट विद यर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अर चैनल थैंक यू